Odd People Podcast. <laughs> go. We moved the cameras again, everybody. Again, deal with it. Yes. If you don't like it, don't find a different podcast. Just stay right here. <laughs> if you don't like it, <laughs> deal with it. How's it going, man? I missed you. It's going. I missed you, too. It's been, a, it's been a little longer than it should have been. It has. It has. But life, life, man. But we're here. We're not. I'm ready to talk about some... Some fun stuff. What are we talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Evolution. Yeah, we're probably going to talk about some evolutionary I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. So, uh, buy stuff on Redbubble again. Yeah. Christmas is coming. Yeah, we're getting some sales. We got some 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 sales. sales, So, whoever you are, thank you so much. Yeah. So sweet and nice of you to, uh, to do that. Yeah. Somebody out there wearing Odd People podcast. Yeah swag that you designed yeah how cool is that it's pretty cool that's cool it's pretty cool it's you figure i'd be used to it by now it's been like six years <laughs> i've been doing this <laughs> yeah. well, has it really been that long six years yeah man that's wild yeah and you're insanely busy i am especially around christmas time is horrifying but i get through it i work it out i limit myself surprisingly yeah, I don't know how you how you have to, right? I hate it. I hate you, limiting myself because that's you know to me that's like that's money sitting there. I gotta. Yeah, but you you need to not to, be. I know, I know. Working twenty four hours but a to day to say no to somebody. Yeah, no, and that does suck. That's all right. Like you straight up no. Like, yeah, no, oh, I know. Man, that blows. But you know, I'd rather preserve my mental. Yeah, I mean, you can't work right? seven days a week. Yeah, well. For, well, I mean, I know you do. <laughs> know, I'm just, just saying, you need to take at least a break long enough to do yeah. a podcast. Oh, exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what's uh, what's new in the world of Button Club? You guys have new anything, in the world of Button Club? Anything fun happening? Or? Um, we had some exciting news. Um, I'm not sure if she wants me to share it, but I can ask her after this. But um, Alicia made <laughs> uh, these Blanca chains. Uh, cause in street fighter six, Blanca has this little toy Blanca that, yeah. that he uses as like an item and he throws it out Okay, and it like does damage. Um, and everybody loves them. They're these cute little Blanca things, but one of the top players in the world right now is a Blanca player and someone designed him with his own doll that he yeah. throws. Okay. And he posted the picture of it and Alicia hand stitched the toy that he had hand stitched and you know just posted it on twitter and he reached out and and he was so excited and he placed like six more orders for them and he said he'll be in massachusetts in december and he's gonna show up to button club one of the top players in the world oh wow yeah and we're just gonna have a good time and that's awesome yeah so is it like a crocheted <clears throat> yeah, she like they, like, she went to like Joanne Fabrics and just got all kinds of like different color <laughs> <green> fabric, and, <laughs> orange. and then she stitched it together, and then she stuffs it, and then nice closes it up. Yeah. yeah, she's pretty handy. We can we can share a picture of it. I have. It. Yeah, we'll find. We'll try to get a picture and yeah, uh, cool. share that there. Yeah. That's very interesting. Good for you, Alicia. Yeah, so we're hoping he does make it by and comes, and we can play with him, and everyone can chat with him, and yeah, it'll be super cool. Oh, that's going to be like the... Ner- I'm a big fanboy over this guy. So, oh, really? Yeah. All right. I was going to say, this is going to be the yeah. nerdiest night No, he's like this. Club. He's like this <laughs> chubby little teddy bear of a guy. Yeah. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> he's so humble, too. And What's and, his name? Do you know his... Uh, his name is Mena RD, but uh, okay. everyone just calls him Mena, so... Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he's from Dominican Republic, and... Dude, that's like a whole world yeah. that I am not a part of Fighting like games? and i know nothing i know nothing about other than what you've told me yeah i knew nothing about it come a few years ago i knew nothing about it and yeah. then and then they invited me out to taunton to one of the tournaments and that was it man i fell in love from there i never had even played fighting games before so like when i started i started from scratch like so but it's been a <clears throat> crazy journey to even to learn how these fighting games work and yeah it's incredible yeah yeah i play stuff like that with my kids and i'm i just you just mash the buttons right yeah Yeah. like i don't know what what a lot of people think it is yeah for me there's zero technique involved because i don't know exactly that's what i thought yeah that's cool but no there's a lot of technique to it there's a lot of numbers and frame rates and 
Yeah. Got to know your a lot stuff. Of techni- a lot of technical stuff that yeah, not a lot man. of people know about. I just draw on my iPad. I don't know anything <laughs> about this stuff. Yeah. I just like this all day with wrenches. Yeah. I'm just... How about you? I saw the, the guitar you posted. Yeah, that... On the, uh, on the Mighty Guitars. Yeah, that white uh, Telecaster I had for a couple of weeks. Um, That thing's so nice. Yeah? Yeah. It looks nice. It's... uh, it's it's. I'm getting... I feel like I'm pretty lucky that I get to... Yeah. The customers I have, yeah, man, and That's some goes, of them have very you know? good taste in guitars. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, can you help <laughs> me out with this?" Yeah, and I very confidently say yes. Yeah, and in the back of my mind, I'm like, "I really hope it's nothing <laughs> like, <laughs> like so serious, so, so complicated that I really can't figure yeah. it out." Are you but ever no. scared that you're gonna like ruin it, or like less well, and less every time? I'm a little like less you go worried. to yeah, you get yeah. more confident as you yeah, go. Yeah, like yeah. that was a Fender Telecaster. Like if you like, there's probably like, more information about fenders, yeah, out there in the world, yeah, than any other guitar. So, like if you just like while you were bringing it upstairs, you dropped it or something, and oh, that I'd, I that would really screw me up because I don't have like <laughs> liability insurance for the business, <laughs> so I, it would completely be on me to fucking yeah, replace to this it. thing, and I would be really upset. Oh man, that would suck. That would just suck financially. Uh oh, did everything move? <laughs> I think we still look okay. Yeah, we look all right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's yeah. Good. So, so it's uh, still going for you. Yeah, it's still going. It's still good, going good. good. I good. have one guitar that I haven't finished. That's like the most. It's like the plague over your head. It right is now. the plague it's over like my head. Away. It's a little parlor guitar. It belongs to my cousin, and I've been working on this thing. She told me there was no time frame. Is that the one with like the bent neck? Or yeah, I had to. Crooked? I had to straighten the neck out. I had to. I have. Currently rebuilding the bridge because I don't want to take the bridge off. Oh, okay. Because the bridge itself isn't a normal size. The, the bridge is the. The bridge is where the. Uh, it's an acoustic style guitar, so like that's where the strings come out of. Oh, oh. And there's oh. A, a piece called a saddle that the strings sit on, oh, and nice. then they go up to the the top of the neck. Nice. And um, yeah, I'm like rebuilding it mm-hmm. <laughs> to get it to work because when I straighten the neck out. You find everything, like yeah, everything ended other up. Other issues. Yeah, every time I <laughs> fix something, a different issue exists. That's crazy. And I'm like, this sucks. Yeah. And I don't know how much she paid for this guitar, yeah. but it doesn't look cheap. It's made with very <laughs> exotic woods and very nice material. Yeah. So I'm like, this thing's. I love looking at guitars. They're always so cool to look at. Yeah. I wish I could play it, but. You should learn how to play, man. Maybe something simple. It's just learned. Yeah. Just learn some chords or. I like the bass too. The bass is really cool. When I see like a really good bass player who's yeah. like really going at it, yeah. that's so cool. You're like, oh so cool. shit. Yeah. But no, nah, if I was to learn any instrument, it would be a saxophone. Saxophone? Mm-hmm. Cool. That is the sexiest instrument on this planet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I saw a saxophone solo the other day and I was, yeah. my mind was blown. I was like, I didn't even know they could do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I don't know. Brass instruments don't really do it for me. I'm not like, no. I'm like, yeah, all right. Horns? Yeah, all the Brass? horns. They're cool. But they're no. all right. It's, I mean, it's, Trumpets? They're a necessity in, uh, in a certain band, but you know. It's just so cool. Yeah. So uh, did you watch any movies this week? You probably didn't have much time, but. No, I did watch a movie and I, I was so excited to talk about it. I don't remember it at all. Oh, no, really? It'll come to you. All right. All right. Ask me what I watched. Yeah, what'd you watch? <laughs> so, <laughs> ask me what I watched. <laughs> just, just to give your mind a break. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we finished watching Breaking Bad. Oh. Uh, not Breaking Bad. Better Call Saul. Oh, I was going to say, you never finished Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah, Bad. no, we finished that a long time ago. So, we, we finished Better Call Saul, and we we moved on. From that, <clears throat> thankfully, finally. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, what's this? It's a movie called El Camino. Yeah. And it's the story of yeah, Jesse. Jesse Pinkman. Hell so yeah. I had to watch that. You did? And now I'm done with everything Breaking Bad. <laughs> For think, now. I don't think there's anything that was produced by them that so, I haven't seen. So now that you've seen everything, yeah, who would you say like your favorite character is in all... All of it, even from Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. Overall, who's your favorite Jesus. character? I don't know. There's so many. Yeah, there there's, is a lot. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of characters. Um, 
But are you like the traditional like Walter White fan, or are you the Jesse Pinkman guy, or I do think, you like the the bad guys there? I think throughout the whole thing, all the TV shows and the, the series and the movie, I think everything went like every season, every episode. I would kind of like a different character a little more. Like it was kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. It kind of yeah. like flipped. of course you're like on <clears throat> on the side of Walter White. Yeah, of course. For yeah. a good portion of that show, where you're like, yeah, like he's doing, like he's doing it for the right reasons, but it's also very selfish reasons. Yeah. Like it starts off as he's doing it for the right reason because he needs to pay for like life, and yeah, he doesn't want to leave his family with nothing because he's yeah. dying. And then it kind of morphs a, into good being at chemistry. So yeah. Why then, not? It, then he kind of morphs into like a drug lord. Yeah. And you're like. Mm, no, it's Hell not yeah. so much. Now he's like wrapped up in it, and he started mm-hmm. to turn his personality. Turned. Right, because eventually they he finds out he's in the clear from cancer, right? But he just can't stop the whole drug lord yeah, like thing. He still, he, he got, just keeps he, going. He was, yeah, the epitome of being in too deep. He was in too deep. He couldn't get out of it. Yep. I like Jesse. After watching El Camino, seeing, I like, I think, seeing Jesse's character grow is is yeah, awesome. Like he it, starts out as this white boy gangster, like yeah, yeah, just, pathetic dude, and then like towards the end, he's got the black leather jackets yeah. on. I think it, at the, at the end of El Camino, I was glad it ended the way it did. Yeah, because he has like a new start at the end. Spoiler I watched alert! It so long ago, I can't even remember. So he ends up getting out of. <clears throat> I remember he's like on the run right at yeah, the beginning. So, yeah, so the end of Breaking Bad, it that ends with. Walter White basically busting Jesse out. <laughs> I know, spoiler <laughs> alert for a show that ended no, good, 10 years. Um, If you haven't seen it by now, I mean. Yeah, right, sorry. You suck. Um, so, it's, <laughs> so it ends with him busting Jesse out of being held captive. He was being held captive and being forced to make meth. And then Walter dies, but Jesse, Jesse gets out. Mm-hmm. So El Camino takes off. Jesse's on the run, and he gets a bunch of money that he knows about from the dude that was keeping him captive. Yeah, and he ends up going to the guy that sells vacuums. It's like a front for like him getting people. Like it's like oh, uh, uh, what's right. it called? Uh, what's the government have for like gangsters and shit? It's like your. Uh, Oh, fuck! I can't remember what the term is called. <laughs> like when they when they they cut a deal, and you're like living a separate life. You're like it's not your name. It's not your life. They like, like set up a life for like you undercover. Not undercover, but it's like for bad guys, or like if someone is a gangster and they're a rat. The witness oh, protection program. Oh, that's what okay, it's called. Okay, okay. So it's um, so it's like that, but like illegal. Yeah. yeah. So the old guy sets him up. And he ends up going to Alaska. So the the El Camino ends with him driving into the wilderness, basically. Oh, okay, okay. So I like the way that ended for that character because it was a lot of redemption. Yeah. And it was good. Yeah. Um, certain points of Better Call Saul, I liked him. Yeah. Although he's like the worst lawyer. He's like a scumbag lawyer. Yeah. My dog's losing her mind upstairs right now. Somebody's breaking into my house. Should we stop? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's probably Are they coming back. It's probably a delivery. Oh. Yeah. It's probably Amazon or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know um, that or somebody's trying to break in my house. Yeah. <laughs> then if that case, in that case, the dogs will get them. <laughs> we don't have to get up. <laughs> yeah. Um, ask me who my favorite character is. Yeah. Who is your favorite? Do you character? have a guess? Before <clears throat> it's okay if you don't. I don't. I don't have a guess. It's a uh, Tuco. Tuco. <laughs> I love Tuco, dude. He was my favorite. Yeah. My favorite. All around favorite. He didn't last very long, but that fucking dog's going losing ham, her mind. Dude. It's all right. It's a part of being in a in a at home podcast. Yes, you get that homey feel. The and dogs barking. Yeah, we're drinking pink coffee. You know, we got the coffees. You know, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm about to go up there and scream at the dogs. We can normally cut these sounds out. <laughs> well, I'm leaving all, right. all that in. All right. So Tuco <laughs> is your favorite character. Yeah, man. He's just a psychopath. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Now both dogs are barking. Yeah. I think you should maybe go check. Yeah, I'm going to pause this. <laughs> well, I don't 
don't know what that was all about. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Back in action. That's what they do when we're not home. They just bark. So, yeah, it was it was Tuco, man. He was my favorite, like, uh, villain from the show. A lot of people was the Gus. I think his name is Gus. Gus. Gu- Gus. Yeah. Which one's Gus? Uh, oh, he, Gus Fring. He's the owner of the, the Chicken Man. The Chicken Man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a cool character because he was so serious and so, like, well-mannered. He's a cool character, but I don't yeah. Know. But Somebody's I like the favorite. That better, yeah. It's kind of weird. Everybody's really a lot of people's. Yeah. What about the? No uh, one cared about Tuco, man. I was like, Tuco was about, awesome, man. What about the old guy with the bell? <laughs> oh, his <laughs> what was that? His uncle or something? <laughs> yeah, I hated that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was not my favorite. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, no, he's creepy. Yeah. Well, in uh, in Better Call Saul, you see how that happens. How he ends up in the chair. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because he's not in the wheelchair or anything yeah. like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Better Call Saul, I didn't finish it. I gotta finish it. Oh, dude. I only got to like, I don't know how many seasons there are, but I think I was on season two. These are better headphones. Yeah, man. All right, we're back down to one dog. Damn, <laughs> that dog's. Would you put it outside? I killed her. All right, dude. <laughs> no, no uh, she's in her crate. I guess I'm staying for dinner because <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you know, tis the season with his forty fucking <laughs> delivery trucks outside the house. That's true. At That's every true. point, I should get. I want a job doing that. Have you seen? I want to be a delivery guy. Well, Amazon does it like in their own cars now. They must be so backed up. Yeah. Multiple times this wow. week, we've had people show up in like a hatchback. <laughs> You're like, who the hell is this in front of my house? Yeah. And they get up with the blue vest on. Dude, I'll buy a mini bus, like a mini school bus. Yeah. I'll be the best delivery driver out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down with that. I'll do it with you. All right. <laughs> I'll quit my job tomorrow. All right, dude. <laughs> oh, man. So what are we talking about? Wow. We went breaking. on like a long uh, hiatus for Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good though, because uh, Breaking Bad was a good show. It was phenomenal, and uh, it's been out for so long now. Isn't that weird to think about? Yeah, man, I was watching that in like my first apartment. Wow, really? Yeah. Do you uh, do you know what <laughs> other movie or what other thing uh, Tuco the the actor that plays Tuco? He's in something else? Yeah, he's in something else. What is it? He's in a, it's a pretty major scene, too. It's, I need to uh, know. Same, that's the name of that movie. Training Day with Denzel Washington. With Denzel? Dude, that's Ethan the Hawk. only Denzel movie I haven't seen. I love Denzel. What? I've never seen Training Day. Denzel. Denzel Washington. Denzel. Denzel Washington. Denzel. So uh, he's he plays a character that's like... A gangster type dude that was in jail. Mm-hmm. Are we talking about Denzel or the other? Guy? No, no, Tuco's oh, character. Oh, oh. I can't remember his name in that movie. And um, Tuco's character, the guy that played Tuco, <laughs> 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 the character he plays in that one. And uh, he, there's a part where they, and Denzel is bringing Ethan Hawke's character around. He's meeting all these people in this neighborhood. And he kind of leaves them alone with these dudes that yeah. are like definitely like jail guys. They got like teardrop got tattoos teardrops. and shit. And, yeah. And he's talking to him and he's intimidating him. Yeah. Tuco's talking to intimidating Ethan Hawke. Yeah. And he's like, you ever get your shit pushed in? <laughs> like he, he's like really Damn. fucking wild. Yeah. No, I haven't. And, and then no, I, I would not like to. I, I want to <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I don't want to give away the movie in case you get to see it. Yeah. But I think all hell breaks loose after that part. Oh. It's a lot of... I'll have to check it out. I'm going to watch it today. I got a lot of drawing to do today. A lot so. of nefarious characters. I'm going on a movie. A movie. Movie night. Nice. All night. Drawing movies and pizza rolls. That's my life. Yeah. That's my life. And <laughs> pizza rolls. Yeah. Sweet. Don't burn your mouth. Or chicken nuggets on a rare occasion. Don't burn your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like molten like, lava in the middle of like, those things. The outside's not bad. You can hold it, and then yeah. you put... Why is it like that? 
I don't know. It's just like I molten hot yeah. liquid hot magma. I think it takes so much more to heat the outside than it does the inside. That's why. So like. Oh, yeah. We so, don't have to get into that. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to mention one more thing before we start a podcast. Okay. Um. So uh, the the band Bright Idea. Oh, yes. My friend Lenny's band is playing next. Let's go. Sunday, December 10th. Next Sunday. Yeah, December 10th. Let's do it up. All right, that should Let's work. Let's go, that which would work. be this coming Sunday to you people. Yeah, <laughs> you people. You people. I forgot where so my camera was. <laughs> he, uh, you people. He reached out to me. We've been talking. Yeah? Yeah, I think we're going to uh, we're gonna get some. Uh, I remember that guy. He was a great guy. I think we're going to get. He probably doesn't remember me, but. I remember. Oh, him. that's right. You know him from yeah, the auto from parts. Rays. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. So he um if he knew me, he'd probably hate me because I was probably an idiot back then. <laughs> looking for firebird parts. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> he's like, get this kid out of this. Oh, uh, yeah. that's funny. Yeah, so uh yeah, he I think he's gonna so, hook us up with some odd people uh odd question music. All right. Yeah, yeah. like we're yeah, we're, like we're, the, we're gonna work it out. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get some we're gonna get together and all right, dude. Yeah, it's I'll gonna be it. good. Good. Hell yeah. And uh yeah. So uh well, let's do it. Let's let's jump into yeah, this. Yeah, uh, the last few weeks we've been talking about things like Bigfoot and dragons and You know what I went home and I was so stuck on? Yeah. Was um the whole tailbone thing and like the what your body has and doesn't need anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the whole tailbone thing really threw me off. I saw, like, a little bit of both. Like, some were saying that we have a tailbone because it does provide a type of balance to our body. So, like, yeah. without it, we'd be off balance a little bit. But I thought then it, I, but I then thought I, it uh, held, held you poop back. If we didn't have it, we would just poop. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Your face, dude. You could have got me on that. Um, wow. So, you, it, it provides balance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, but then the opposite side of people were saying, obviously, it was because we had tails at one point, and now we no longer do, but the mm -hmm. bone remains. Yeah. And then I was looking a lot really into the appendix, and, like, same thing. It yeah. was when we were, like, um, we were more of a herbivore. Uh, there was a lot of plants that we were eating at the time that needed to filter through the appendix. Huh. Uh, but now we're not eating that type of thing anymore, so it just goes unused yeah and eventually yeah, I guess there's a few things needs like, to be removed <clears throat> wisdom teeth <clears throat> same thing with we that don't need too wisdom teeth yeah uh thank god because i was born without them oh really yeah when i had braces they removed a bunch of teeth really i had to have i guess i was crowded so they had to take some teeth out of the back molars yeah so when my wisdom teeth came in they just came in i had one removed but they came oh, in they and came there was like room for fit. them yeah. yeah 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 that's cool i think they did that yeah, I was, I was, I didn't have them at all. Hmm. I had one, and I got it removed, and that yeah. was it. But the other weren't even existing. I had one removed from back here, and my my doctor is like a small woman. Yeah. <laughs> so she had like <laughs> a knee. I had like one. I was holding my own head. Yeah. She had uh, her assistant holding me down, and she had like a knee on my shoulder, and she was like, yeah. <laughs> "Dude, isn't it intense? It was, it was rough." And you know the whole like, time I'm like barbaric. I feel like the I whole time I was drooling. I couldn't feel anything. I'm like <laughs> You're just in the clouds. <laughs> yeah. like, she's like, "Hold your head." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dentist is the worst, dude. So yeah, there is a lot of things that we have. What do you? Uh, your tonsils. Your tonsils. Your tonsils really are another those. one. I got those removed when I was a baby, so I don't even remember. Oh, really? That's good that you don't remember it. I don't even. Yeah. Uh, I had a, a heart valve removed when I was a baby. Turns out I need it. So I had to put it back in. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I've had that one replaced a couple of times. So like you were born out. without it? No. They or they had to take it out? So they removed it to replace, to do the repair inside yeah. my heart. Yeah. Because I had a hole in between the ventricles of my, it was like an inner wall. Yeah. So I had a hole in between. So to get to it, they removed the valve. So I lived 28 years with three a three chamber heart, as opposed to the four that everybody wow. else has. I was missing a valve. Wow. Yeah, crazy, right? You have all four now. I have all four now. Do you have like super one of, ones. Like, one of them's a it's a bovine valve. Like, like turbos. No, no. <laughs> I wish that'd be cool if I could. Imagine turn, you could hit like, a button and you're like, just like and hit a button in my neck. 
<laughs> and you're just in oh overdrive, dude. <laughs> just like running. That'd be so awesome. It'd be sick. I'm going to invent that. I'm going to ask I'm going to be the richest time. man in the world. <laughs> I'm going to ask for that next time. A turbo attachment for your heart. So, uh. You don't need drugs. <laughs> so I'm going to throw a question out to you. <laughs> okay. And what, what do you, what are the two scenarios uh -huh. that you think evolutionarily if that's the proper word, would be the best case scenario for human beings and the worst case scenario for human beings. As far as like... Like where we... Like where we go like from where, here? Yeah, like where we could go, <clears throat> like changes in the body and the mind, mm. like evolution. I think a good direction for us to go would be to have some kind of like fish gills that we can breathe <laughs> and swim underwater. Yeah. And That'd be cool. that could change everything. We could do yeah. underwater cities. There will be no more drownings. Oh, yeah. You know? You're really afraid you of know? drowning. Just get some <laughs> little things right in the neck here, just like little slits. And that's it. We're good to go. Okay. That's good to go. Yeah. That'd be a sick tattoo, actually. Some fish gills? Yeah, just fi like just really like not like noticeable. Realism. And yeah. people are like, what the hell is that little line? It's my fish gills. Oh, but it was, you're like, nothing. Like, nothing. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're oh, like, you don't have these? They're oh. like, oh, is that a tat? You're like, no. No. <laughs> you slowly cover your neck and you're like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a guppy. Yeah. A guppy fish, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's yeah, a good one. Yeah, I think one. that would improve, right? I and think then, that like, would improve, yeah. And then you said not improve, like yeah. for the worse. Um, <laughs> I think. I think uh, That's a tough one. I think the gills would improve things. Right, but I also think maybe not that important. Yeah, probably not <laughs> I, I as could probably as think important. Of more important. <laughs> <laughs> probably not as important. I would like to see like our uh, our senses get stronger. I think that would really improve things. Yeah, like spidey senses. But it, it would be no, like like your sense of smell. My bald head is tingling. Yeah, you're like you get the. <laughs> but like, uh, think of think of like a dog. Like dogs have really good um, smell. Yeah. To the point where they'll, something that they're trying to find could be right in front of them. Yeah. And they'll run right by it because it, the smell. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a video of a, a, a dog chasing a rabbit and the rabbit runs and then it like stops, doubles back and just like, just goes back a little bit. Yeah. And the dog just keeps fucking going, just walk, runs right by the rabbit because <laughs> it's going by smell. So then it, the dog stops when the smell stops. Yeah. And it turns around, the rabbit's long gone. That's so crazy. To, so to the dog, there's just a line of smell that ends. Yeah, yeah. And to the rabbit, he's like, fucking stupid dog. And <laughs> runs that <laughs> yeah. way. That's pretty cool. But I think... I didn't know that. I think if, you know, things like smell were to improve or like we had like super eyesight. Yeah. I think that would be fantastic. That would be super cool. I think that would help. But would it still vary by like person? Because like you know how like my smell is probably like much more shittier than yours because I can't breathe half the time. But like, well, my eyes are really good. But like you and my wife, you guys need yeah, glasses and contacts. Yeah. So maybe just evolutionarily, we just nobody has bad eyesight anymore would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'd have to all be on the same page first for this to. Keep I going. feel like I feel like by now in 2023 we should have like a shot or something that makes your it just brings your vision back and your or your sense of smell back. Or, so there's another one. You know what I mean? Just techno, like our minds becoming more technologically advanced in the way of like helping the human body instead of helping technology. Yeah, I think that would be a big improvement. Hell yeah! Because it'd be like all science, uh, all medical based science would be like the shit. Yeah, for sure. Instead, we're just like making vaccines, and we're like, well, we trained a robot to give you a vaccine. It's because it's, it's like, all well, about, the, really it's all about the money. That's why they don't yeah. care about what they can heal or fix or. Yeah, true. It's just about the money. It's like, how can yeah. we make your vision worse for longer <laughs> so we can continue to yeah. get paid more? <laughs> yeah. Well, you could get laser surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Oh, well, I'm don't... sorry. Your eyes aren't working. You can spend thousands of dollars on this laser eye surgery or hundreds of dollars on these glasses and yeah. contacts and well hundreds of dollars on glasses every year exactly for the rest of your exactly, life exactly <laughs> yeah they fix your eyesight that's it they don't make any more money oh yeah it's not sponsored by duncan no 
Funkin'. Which is now Dunkin', so don't be saying Dunkin' Donuts anymore. Yeah, we're sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. All right, this is not just <laughs> donuts. They got we're everything. Not. We're not. I, I think I'm legally obligated to tell you that we're not sponsored by Dunkin' yeah, Donuts or Dunkin'. Fuck Dunkin'. They take my money every goddamn day. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Can you, they shake you down. <laughs> <laughs> they shake you down every day. It's not even for the coffee. I apologize. This one was free from Matthew, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you call me Matthew because that's what it says on the cup. Yeah, I had to go by the. You had to go by the official the title. Yeah, and they do you like that? What Matthew? Yeah, are you like fuck off? Don't call me Matthew. No, I don't really care. Um, it's uh, it's or is Matthew like the stern one? Like when Matthew someone's angry the, at like you? Like when my mom was yeah. mad at me, she called yeah, me Matthew. <laughs> my grandparents called me Matthew. Yeah. Uh, my wife calls me Matthew in certain scenarios. Yeah. In bed. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, she calls me Matthew when I offend her. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why are you offending her, man? I don't know. She's like, Matthew. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I say something. This Matthew. Matthew. But yeah, most people call me Matt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so anyway. I'm going to call you Matt. Matt. I'm going to leave the T's out. I'm going to okay. start a new trend. Matthew. Matt. Matthew. Matt. Matt. Yo, Matt. Yeah. My whole name, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. You're Matt Cat in my phone, so. Sweet. I guess I'll just rock with that. Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about legally changing it to the, the cat. Well, there's so many goddamn mats in my phone. I have to start getting creative. <laughs> <clears throat> it's millennials, you know? know there's a lot dude. of mats, Eric's, yeah. Scott's. Um, Kyle's. Kyle's. Yeah, there's a shitload of Kyle's, yeah. <laughs> I graduated with, like, two other mats. Yeah. And then, like, within, like, my time in high school, mm -hmm. the grades above and below me, there was a shitload of mats. There was yeah. a lot of mats, yeah. <laughs> really should have changed my name to the cat you should i, I agree I, I think i will but two t's yes yeah that's how i spell it always oh matt the cat uh, it's always had two t's i gotta change it in my phone <laughs> matt cat matt cat yeah so man. anyway what do you think uh <laughs> what do you think would be bad evolutionarily bad evolutionary um because i can i picture the movie wally what if our big toes shrunk? <laughs> that be terrible? Isn't that like a main source of our balance? I our think big it is. Toes? I think it really does if help. If you lose your big toe, you're yeah. kind of like... It's Ugh. like a cat losing its tail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember in school, they tried to give us like some <laughs> lesson of... Uh, I think it was polar bears. They don't have thumbs. Polar so, bears don't have thumbs? Yeah. For, so for the whole day, they had us tie our, our thumb... Uh, tape our thumb... And we had to go the whole school day like that, <laughs> okay. and it was horrible. What really? Are you, what are you going to look up? I'm going to look up polar bear hands. Yeah, they don't have thumbs. I believe it. <laughs> I this was like fourth grade, so. <laughs> I mean, well, wouldn't they not have thumbs anyway? You know what I mean? They have paws. They have paws, right? Holy shit. Look at the size of their fucking paws. But a lot of, like, cats and stuff still have the thumb. It's just kind of like up oh they higher. have yeah 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 but, they don't have an but opposable, polar bears opposable don't have thumb that. but they have yeah they don't have thumbs at all holy shit dude look at the size of their paws yeah see they only got four four th oh this woman or why man is this, why does this one have five <laughs> this woman or man has her hand on the paw of a polar bear and it's like it's a ginormous. It's like not even the size of like the pad in the middle. Polar bears are awesome. Look at that picture. What, this one? No, this one over here. Look how yeah, happy like... they look, man. They're like best friends just hanging out. <laughs> it's us. Look, it's <laughs> there me and you. It's Odd People Podcast. Yeah, Odd People Polar Cast. And now I'm going to draw a polar bear shirt. Yeah. <laughs> of me and you. <laughs> you ever seen a tattooed polar bear? <laughs> It's crazy because those uh, polar bears are gigantic. Yeah. They are absolutely fucking huge. And they look so warm and cuddly. And they would tear you to pieces. <laughs> look at that one. Look at his nose. Adorable. Look at that. Isn't, like, it, isn't marketing crazy? Because every time I see a polar bear, I just think Coca-Cola. Right? Every yeah, time. I was just going to say Every this. time. <laughs> I was going to say. Where every time I'm like, surprised? man, I could use a nice glass of Coke. <laughs> That's marketing right there. So let's do this, right? If I get rid of paws, and I just put polar bear, there it is. There's the Coca-Cola. See, it's red. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a dude. seal torn to pieces. Oh, my God. 
Jesus Christ. See that, man? That, that makes him look like the beast that he really What's is. What's up with this one? Why is it all green? I don't know. That doesn't look cool. That Puzzled looks like he's zoo visitor. A, oh, he's from the zoo. Uh, poor guy's in the zoo. He's like got algae him? all over him or something. Christ. Gross. Fucking people are gross. See, this is that's the animal that shouldn't be in a zoo. Right. Look at it. They it need looks to be protected. horrible in a zoo. That looks awful. They need to be protected. Yeah. Because they're probably dying because of the... Yeah, we probably don't know. have many left. Yeah, but... I don't know if they should be. Look in the at zoo. that, dude! Look at this picture. Right that here. one? Oh, that one? <laughs> They're about to hug it out, dude! In two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> That's great. So, what if? What would be bad? So you say a small so toe. So your 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 big toe <laughs> shrinks, and now you're off balance and you're all fucked up. We'd have to like find new ways to to balance ourselves. Yeah, like Parts big toe attachments. Attachments. You know. Yeah. And then people get customized attachments. Like a turbo. <laughs> yeah, like this one's going to spring on it. Yeah. So every time I take a step, yeah. I'm like... Mm-hmm. I want my big toe to shoot flames. <laughs> I want that attachment. You have to carry like a little cylinder yeah. of like fuel you can light up. on your You're shin. You're just like, ah, oh, cool, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little button in your pocket. Mm-hmm. And people are like, give me all your money. And you're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your sketchers out of the cameras, Dude, okay? these are not sketchers. <laughs> your dad's shoes. They're Brooks. <laughs> They're running shoes. They're actually really good shoes. Yeah. They were on sale, too, and I'm cheap, so that's why I have gray. <laughs> why? Like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Don't say that. So, like, I was thinking, like, what we could, like, do. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh this this episode's out of control. So what about you? What do you think? Uh, so I think, unfortunately, we're already going down the road of uh, bad evolution because we're relying too much on technology. Yeah. I'm being serious. I think- So you that, think our brain is- I think we're going to end up like Wally, dude. We're going to so. destroy the world. Dude, I think about that idiocracy thing you always talk about yeah. every day. Every time I go out in public, I'm like, he's right. People are just getting genuinely yeah. stupider, dude. It's a combination of idiocracy and Wally. We're getting dumb. We're going to be overrun with trash. Yeah. People will ref- we refuse to get rid of plastic. Mm-hmm. Plastic is like, and I use it. I'm a hypocrite for saying this, but yeah. plastic's like the worst thing ever invented. <laughs> It is, for yeah. just in the, in in regards to like food, yeah, we should never be putting stuff in plastic, right? Ever, and then microwaving that plastic, yeah, Oof. we're full Imagine of microplastics. Yeah, Babies yeah, are born dude. with plastic in them. Yeah. This is it's crazy. It's, it's getting really out of hand. Bad. But what would we use though? Because like there isn't much. Well, I mean, you could use glass. You can use glass, but that's way more like. Well, it's a whole industry that yeah would true. be bigger if it's it true. weren't for plastic. I mean, plastic, sure. I mean, our cars are made of plastic mostly. Everything in this room this is plastic. Whole, everything is plastic. But I don't yeah. throw this away. Right. I'm not throwing this away weekly. Yeah, that's This true. has been, I've owned this for a while. Yeah. It's just, it's like the, uh, what's it called? Are oh, you talking about like in the food I'm industry? Like fast like food. Like soda and, bottles. Yeah, like fast food and yeah. just like the uh, fast fashion, they yeah. call it, where it's like everybody. I like the cardboard. Like yeah, a, everything cardboard. cardboard. Like you know how like yeah, sandwiches little... come in the cardboard, or yeah. like uh, yeah, that's the... technically cardboard. Yeah, it's like paper. Right? I mean, the, kind of the top is paper. plastic, but this is th- that'll biodegrade, right? And you can make a cap too. I don't know why they keep it plastic, but yeah, they probably could make that out of the same material. Really, yeah, exactly. So, so I'm saying there man. is alternatives. Yeah. So I think I think we're if we don't <clears> change, <throat> I think that's the the probably the biggest change. People will talk about gas. Yeah. And carbon monoxide, and we're literally filling the world with trash constantly. Yeah, we constantly. Are. I don't know where. Yeah, we just don't see it. They have spots, but we just don't see I it. I don't know how plastics made. Yeah, I think it's made go from to the oil. Dump. <laughs> oh, yeah, I go to the dump. The dump all is the time. exciting to me. I don't know why. <laughs> to like see like kids. all the tractors like <laughs> scooping all the yeah. garbage. And I have like, a cousin that works at the dump. Yeah, He's, uh, I've found some good things over the years. He here drives and there. a big machine and he pushes the dump. Yeah, uh, pushes all the trash yeah. in different spots and stuff. Yeah. It's cool. I don't know. He's it's exciting when you go there. Too. It's actually pretty cool. I'll, yeah. I'll share it with you. Oh, from for like not a YouTube, but uh, TikTok. Yeah, yeah. He's got a TikTok. He puts and it's his, all from like work. From puts being his at phone the dump. and it's him driving the machine. Oh, dude, I'm so down for that. Send me that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'll let him know. Too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, but I think I think that's the way we're going. I think we're already on the worst evolutionary path oh, we sure. could be on. Yeah. And just short of the aliens, you know, making it making themselves known. And yeah, they're gonna come it. back and be like, "What the fuck, man? We like, set you guys free to live in your own planet, yeah. and you can't even fucking do that." We set you free. We left the reptilians in charge. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? And, and we're like, <laughs> "What reptilians?" They're like, "Oh, you don't know yet." Oh. <laughs> Here's my friend Joe Biden, and he pulls yeah. the mask off. Yeah. Yeah. So that's unfortunately. But to be funny... And people's driving, dude, is horrifying. Yeah, people are just what dumb. What is going on with that? People are scary dumb. I saw some person, like, they just went to go take a turn, and they hopped up on the curb, and, like, <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, how stupid do you have to be? Yeah. I watched some lady try to fit in a parking space for, like, 20 minutes. I was in my car just drawing, and I'm watching this lady for, like, a good 10 minutes just trying, just trying to get in this spot. And I was literally about to just knock on our window and be like, would you like me to do it for you? Because, like, I'm tired of watching it. <laughs> yeah, but, that's bad. Yeah. Maybe it's just driving schools. Maybe driving schools just gave up on, like, <laughs> really yeah. teaching kids. I mean, I, I felt like I got pretty extensive driving class. I did, too. Between driving yeah. with my dad and driving yeah. school. Driving school wasn't bad. They, The lady that we had was, like, really teaching. Yeah. She was really, it was very practical, I'll yeah. put it that way. It wasn't just. Although my driving test was a joke. I just went around the block and that was it. He was like, cool, you're all set, get out. Oh, you want to hear about mine? Cool, <laughs> thanks. I mean, it was in the middle of a snowstorm, so. Oh, all right. But he just, I literally went around the block, pulled back in, and he was like, cool, you're all set. So the girl um, that did her test before me. Yeah. Hit a telephone pole twice. While taking the test. Oh, my God. So, in uh, twice I took mine in Fall River, and they make you pull down this really rough, bumpy road. You're supposed to do... Well, that was your first mistake. You took it in Fall River. <laughs> so, you, you drive around the corner, and you go up the street, and then you need to back up yeah. 100 feet down the curb without hitting the curb. Okay. And there's telephone poles every so often. <laughs> And then you're supposed to do a three-point turn and go yeah. back. It was, it's really not that hard. Yeah. This girl goes, hits the pole, pulls forward. The guy says, all right, I'll give you one last chance. And she fucking does it again. <laughs> She's still got a <laughs> third chance, dude. Yeah, she hit it twice. She had two, oh, the two, second two time. chances. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, um, then she came back and then we jumped... <laughs> It's a state trooper, and I'm there, and my dad's sitting in the back. And my yeah. mom's brand new fucking Volkswagen Passat. Nice. Yeah, it was nice. And uh, I get in, and I'm doing my driving test, and I started to get close to the curb. And my dad's like, Matt, curb. <laughs> <laughs> and the cop's like, stop. And he goes, excuse me, sir, no more, no more from you. You yeah. can't say anything else. <laughs> And my dad's like, sorry, officer, it's a brand new car. I really don't want him to scratch up the rims. <laughs> and it was it was funny. Yeah. But the guy was like, listen, you can't do that. Yeah. And then we kept going, and he goes, well, you did better than the last girl because she hit a telephone pole twice. <laughs> twice. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, well, I guess I'm like a professional driver. Oh, yeah, man. Class A. So she made me look good. I don't even think they do state troopers anymore. Oh, really? Is it yeah, because like a... it was too like intimidating. People were crying about it yeah so now they just pick someone from the school oh i think you say just pick some whoever's in the no. whoever's in the waiting room <laughs> excuse me sir you have like an hour wait yeah. uh do you mind just <laughs> making sure this teenager gets his license yeah You're like sure yeah it's some like crotchy old man he's like bring me to dunkin donuts yeah i don't miss that shit man. bring me to the package store <laughs> yeah i had to bring my driving instructor to get hot dogs one time i was like he didn't even <laughs> offer me if i wanted one well, that's bullshit. He just got like three hot dogs and came back in the car, and he's like, "All right, go ahead." And I was like, oh, "Smells good, it looks good." And he fucking ate them all without he ate all three of them, dude. Even asking. Not even a bite, share a bite. No, I know we're not close, but <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not close. But can we double end this hot dog? <laughs> yeah, man. I'll do anything for food. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it. it's something else. I'll do anything to get my license. That's right, baby. Watch me eat this hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, nope. So that's what I uh that's what I think <laughs> about evolution. So what <laughs> I don't know, man. What was your answer? I th it was a real answer about technology being too much. I think we're going down the wrong so path. So our brains, you're saying our brains are going to I think we're just we're our not Our brains are evolving to a point where that's ruining shit. Yeah, I think we're not 
Okay. We're not doing it right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no, I we're think, definitely not. I th- and I don't think we have been doing it right for a long time. But, yeah. you know, maybe next time. Maybe so the next. So what about something that will help us? I don't know. Something that will help us. I don't think you ever answered that. Yeah, no, I did. Just re- figure out how to make eyes better. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what would make us better? Uh, if we could develop a way to teleport. Oof. Like Nightcrawler. Like us personally teleport? Yeah, like or personally. Like a machine? I think if we unleashed the full potential of our brains and we were able to like read minds and maybe teleport or... They say we only use how much of our brains? 10%. 10%. I think if we are able to open up our third eye... You want to know what the Bible told us? Communicate with each other. Boy, what? Why we only use 10%. Why? It's because Adam ate the thing off the tree. Or uh, Eve. Eve. Eve ate the Eve apple. Eve ate the apple. Yeah. So what does that have to do with my brain? And it, and it, and and God had to limit our our brains since then. But just if we no, never ate just the apple, way for them to blame women for things. If we never <laughs> ate the apple, <laughs> we'd have a hundred percent of our brains. We'd be superhumans. Fucking Eve. Yeah. No, so I think if there was a way a, we could. Uh, Communicate telepathically. <laughs> that would be, be great. great. Me and you could just communicate right now. And I be think like, we could, dude. Do you know what time it is? We'll just do that. Do you want to try it? Yeah, let's try it. Just Bear with us, everybody listening. All right, we're going to finish off the rest of the episode telepathically. Okay. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that works. That works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I yeah. know what you said. Yeah, you were I like, agree. fuck those dogs. I'm glad they're done. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I agree. I know. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I have a headache now, uh, yeah. which unfortunately I happens. think the microphones caught you yelling at the dogs and everything. Yeah, I paused it. I heard it. it all through I, my I, headphones. Pa- oh, I paused, you it, paused it. I shouldn't have paused it. Oh, sorry, guys. I was, you know... <laughs> You would have got to hear him in dad mode. Oh yeah, that was that was my <laughs> dog dad. Your that dog was dad louder than I ever get my kids. There you go. That's <laughs> like, what are you barking at? <laughs> Screaming at him. Uh, so uh, you know what time it is? Um, is it spaghetti time? No. Is it uh, stop saying like time? No. Which that sign is for both of us, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's that's mostly there for, for me. a very important reason. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly for me because I say like constantly. It's odd question time. Odd question time. Oh my god, I really thought I broke my mic for a second. <laughs> we need like, a cameraman oh. to do like cool. We're gonna <laughs> come back. <laughs> All, right, All right, so we're gonna hire two cameramen. Actually, two. three, 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 three. Dang, son. Just fill this so room they with can just people. Zoom in. We won't even need the heat <laughs> anymore. It'll just be so hot in here from the people and the lights. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Odd question time. Let's get it. Yeah. This is from Victoria from Tiverton, Rhode Island. Ooh. What's up, Victoria? What's up, Vicky? And she said, would you stay locked in your bathroom with food and internet for a million dollars? Why and why not? That That's the easiest question. I don't know about you. For how but... long? How long am I locked in there? Like forever? That's true. There's no time limit here. Where okay. like where can I get my million dollars? Let's say 24 hours. 24 hours for a million? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Oh, I would definitely I go do that. longer. Should yeah, I? let's do like something like a month. Would you be <laughs> Cuz that's way month, more money than dude. we make in a month, either one of us. Oh, man. That's about as so much money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's man. a lot of money for a million dollars. I guess I would have to for a million dollars, but if it wasn't for the million dollars... Wait a minute. So stay locked in your bathroom with food and internet. And whose bathroom are we talking about? Because bathrooms can get pretty big. I mean, my bathroom's bathrooms not too big. bathrooms can get really small. <laughs> well... All right, we'll use your bathroom as a base. All right, so I'm going to... As a base. Yeah, because my bathroom, my bathroom with the tub yeah. is probably the average size bathroom. Could we agree yeah. on that? It's yeah. got a tub... It's got a vanity and a sink yep. and a toilet. Decent amount of space between enough, everything. There's enough room yeah. that you could do push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. It's not like... Standard bathroom. It's not the half bath. Yeah. 
Because if it's the half bath, and you say in 24 <laughs> hours, then 24 hours is my limit in that bathroom. I'll probably lose yeah. my shit. The other problem... This is tricky, though, because... Here's the thing. The other problem with... Um, <laughs> there's two problems yeah. with using my bathroom as an example. <laughs> is There's no window. Oh. And there's the light, the light switch is on the outside. <laughs> so, oh, my and God. And the fan and the light switch run at the same time oh my god so you can't even shut the fan off <laughs> so although yours isn't that loud you might get I'll out have to give it to you oh yeah i picked one that was really strong yeah. but not that loud i can't stand bathroom fans man it like just jumbles so, up my brain so I, to I, me that's like solitary crazy confinement. enough up there i can't <laughs> that's like solitary confinement except for you have the internet and food and food i don't know so i don't I know can... if i could do a month in that bathroom for a million dollars, though. I guess I would have. I would have to. I might come out <laughs> fucking crazy. That's what I'm saying. For the million dollars, I would have to. I would I would fight through it. I would battle through it. But if it wasn't for the million dollars, there's no way in hell I could do that. <laughs> because, you know what I mean? If I'm yeah, home no sick way. for a day, yeah. I lose my shit. So, like, yeah. to stay in one room like that, I would lose my mind. Yeah, I'd be that person. You come in after a month and there's writing all over the wall, just the same thing repeated. Yeah. Like... And you're like, wait, there's Gouch no pen. What'd you write out. that with? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my shit. <no. laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely would. I think million dollars is probably the amount of money I would do it for. Yeah. Because that bathroom. Any less than that. The biggest. The biggest thing is no window. Yeah. So I don't even. And the light and the fan are on all the time. You don't even yeah. know if it's day or night. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, that's yeah. fucked up. You have to cover your eyes. If when it you try was to a sleep. room. If that room had a window, and I could turn the light and the fan on and off, then the then the month is easy. Yeah, I'd say pretty because easy. I could just shut the fan off, shut the light off when the when it's daytime. I would get a lot of drawing done. That's for sure. Yeah, I'd get a lot of I'd masturbating just try done. To do that's that for that sure. <laughs> <laughs> a whole month. <laughs> a whole month with internet, and nobody around. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry, fair enough. sorry to be gross, everybody. <laughs> He's just being honest. I'm being honest. <laughs> it's the only release I'd have. So, yep. but you could definitely you could take a bath some days. You could take a shower. Yeah, you can change things you up. Could brush your teeth. You could shave your head completely the yeah. first day, and then see how much yeah. hair you grow in a month. And if you have internet and your phone, I mean, you're pretty pretty in the clear. You can watch movies, yeah, TV. I guess I, mean, I would. <clears throat> it's what I do every day, just in a bathroom. Getting a million dollars, which is more convenient, is would get me very far ahead in life. I'm paying yeah. the house off. Oh yeah, you 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 could buy a car. Hell yeah, oh. buy, you, know, you could buy a fucking. What, here's the next Oof. part too. What car are you getting? First car. It's your first day out of there. First day out of you're there. You're clean because you were had a shower. Yeah. You're not all disheveled, really. Yeah. You can walk out of there pretty clean and yeah. healthy because you ate the whole yeah. time. It's not bad. Trim my beard up. Yeah, you can just walk out. Dude, and I be have like, so many grays. Somebody's now. like this. I'm getting grays in my beard. You go back, Jared. It's a million dollars. <laughs> What's the first thing you're doing? First thing I'm doing. I'm gonna say the Tesla Cybertruck. Yeah. Yeah, man. Nice. Comes with a little mini bike thing there, the quad. <laughs> nice. Dude, you just made a bunch of your car fans shiver. They were all like, oh, "You just said that." One one guy it's just cried. It's a cool truck, man. It's a cool truck. One of your fans cried. I know it's all electric. One of your fans just fucking threw his <laughs> phone across the room. <laughs> Listen, man, I've seen a crossbow be shot at that thing. I've yeah. seen, although the. Didn't somebody throw a rock through the yeah, window? Yeah, it broke it. <laughs> it, it was, was supposed to be shatterproof. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, okay, let's not do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's a cool looking truck. I can't, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know? And it's like a one-off thing. You, there's nothing else in the world yeah, like it. That's so, true. Yeah, it I is mean, pretty rare. Everybody's yeah. got the Lamborghinis and the Ferraris. and the. Yeah, everybody yeah, does. <laughs> everybody does. You know? well, everybody with a million so dollars. Overrated. Yeah. <laughs> everybody with a million dollars does. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, man. What about you? What are you buying? Million dollars car? Do I have to pick? I have to pick a car. Uh, it doesn't have to be a car. What I'll you, pick, you, just I'll what pick you a f- car anyway. Yeah, because that that's the coolest. That's the cool thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a minivan, not a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're saying a van, oh, I should have never said. So the van. I would get one of those big, 
Mercedes <laughs> Sprinters. One of those Sprinter vans. Yeah, that, for like electricians. <laughs> no, the, no, the ones that are all built out with like a camper. Oh, set oh, oh, oh. They're like a fucking hundred grand. They're like, yeah? Oh, yeah, they're fucking pricey. Wow. Like a full on, I don't have to build it. <laughs> like it's yeah, already made. It's just already there for you. And then. Uh, Not even a G Wagon, huh? No. No, no. They're like the Sprinter. <laughs> fucking whatever and then a, a co- like Does at least come with tvs in there oh yeah, it comes, yeah? it's all it's got tvs in there? <clears throat> it's all decked out like a camper like oh, camper okay. companies oh. make them like oh, they, oh, they're oh. the ones that trick it out sweet man yeah I, so you, you know what yeah i want gray, one of those you're getting gray hairs right i am i found a few this morning i don't know if you see them but i don't see them man i've never had grays before I don't, it like shocked me i was like oh my really? god i don't know what to do with these do i keep it just let it I have rock. a couple here and there, but I, I just yeah, I don't see don't, any on you. Uh, I don't you think got kids my, and everything. You're probably all stressed. out. I don't out. think they're in my face much, actually. <laughs> now that I'm thinking of it, I have like, there's a couple here and there. I think. Yeah. My wife's got a couple. I point them out every time. I wouldn't mind. I guess <laughs> I wouldn't mind the little salt and pepper. Do you know what I'm saying? Women like that. Yeah. The women like the salt and pepper. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> women also like uh, a man with a full beard. Yeah. Which I don't have. I only have a notice. beard because I'm bald. Like, you can't have, like... <laughs> you can't be bald on bald? No, you just look like a turtle. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> it's not cool. Dude, you'd be like, am I turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you gotta have something. If you're bald, you gotta have something. Have yeah. to. Have to. I hear you. Yeah. I have a luscious head of hair. Yeah, you do. Consider yourself yeah. lucky, sir. I am. I am. I do. Con- and I'm not trying to rub it in. Yeah. Um, I do consider myself very you, lucky. And you're not Portuguese, are you? I am. Yeah. You are? My mom's Portuguese and Cape Verdean. Oh. And my dad's side of the family was French and uh, a little bit of Irish and Scottish. There you go. My mutt. That's where right. your dad wasn't bald, was he? No. No, that's, he had so a f- that's where your hair comes <clears throat> he from. He had a full head of hair. I swear it's the French and the... And, yeah. uh, and his dad... I mean, at 95 years old, still had hair in his head. Because you know Not all the much, Portuguese, they get the comb-overs and the, you know, they're all going bald. <clears throat> There's something about the Portuguese men, <laughs> and I'm not talking <laughs> shit. It seems that they lose their hair on their head and yeah. they, they they get a they get a lot in their body, like their back. Yeah, that's my case, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You, you t- I shave a lot. You're like, actually, I'm not even wearing a sweater right now. This is all back <laughs> This hair. is all just my body hair, <laughs> what you see. Uh, <laughs> comb it forward. <laughs> but yeah, no, I went bald at 21. Wow, really? 21, yeah. I was starting to thin out, and I was like, nope, fuck that, and just shaved so my whole head. can I say something? Like, you'd you'd no. made the right move. Yeah. Because thank you, thank the, you. <laughs> the patchiness, I think, is it's weird. horrible. Some people, I'm like, just shave people, it, man. I mean, some people also what wear like, hats all day to? and shit, so they don't yeah, care. But. I guess so. But the people that keep like the whole side set up, it's like, what, what are you doing? I think just back in the day it, it was accepted, but nowadays where yeah. there's so much like, they have those palm razors. Yeah. I have one. You have one? It's is that what you sh- use? Skull shaver, skull yeah. Shaver, yeah. So, yeah. like, they have, like, pretty good technology. Yeah, I to... love that thing. I love <clears> it. <throat> what if you left it really short? There's guys that leave it really short and it looks I right. used to. Yeah, yeah, before the skull shaver, that's what I did. I would just nice. use clippers and just shave my head. But yeah. um, a lot of people, like, razor it in the shower, which I used to do that, too. But I don't. I got lazy. Yeah. I wouldn't trust myself. I wish I'd I could have, a, have, like. I'd probably have a big patch somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have, like, surgery to just remove the hair like completely, so I never have to shave it yeah, again. Yeah, you could have laser surgery. You think so? That would hurt a lot. It's all right. If <laughs> I can right. go the rest like, of my, like if I can it's go okay. the rest of my life without shaving my head, yeah, a lot I'll of women it. get it. it under their armpits. Yeah, and man. In their, uh, <laughs> that who has their uh, bikini line? I'll say <laughs> yeah. around, around the v- vaginal yeah, I walls. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Here, can you click this here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to respond to this person. You click the one that says, of course you can. <laughs> of, of course, course you, you can. can. Send it. There you go. And Victoria you go, from Victoria. Turden. There's your answer. In the next 10 minutes is going to be very confused. <laughs> She'll be like, what? <laughs> oh, that's my uh, favorite part man. of doing this. Yeah, just picking the answer. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, man. I think... Uh, I think that's it. I think we're done. That's it. That's a wrap. We're done for the day. Very good. Done for the week. Very good, sir. So we're gonna try to uh we're gonna try to put out episodes all month, I think. Yeah, man. But um 
if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. This is a busy time of year. It is very busy. We have a lot of shit going on. But we'll find it. We'll figure you guys, it out. You guys can expect the rest of this season to go good. Oh. And uh, next year, we're working on some big stuff. We're working on, like I said earlier, some music. Some sponsors coming some our sponsors. way. We're going to make it happen. <clears throat> yep. We're going global. Yeah, baby. We're going global in Massachusetts. <laughs> we're going local <laughs> global. <laughs> we're not thinking globally. We're thinking locally. Yeah. You have anything to say to the fans, to the people? Uh, yeah. I think this week I'm just kind of like, you know what? If you're a creator out there and you're trying to do your thing, just keep it going. Keep pushing it. Don't give up. Don't stop for nothing. Just keep going. I know it's easy to just give it up because you're like, and it's not going anywhere. It's not doing what I want it to do. So just give it up. Start something else. Don't do it. Just keep it going. Keep pushing. If you love it, it will happen. If not, you suck. <laughs> Off feel, to you. <laughs> I feel like he's talking directly to me. No, you got it, man. You got it. We got it. <laughs> now what I have, <clears throat> what I have to say is so corporate. I hate this. No, go for it. <laughs> you can support the show by clicking on the link in the description of the show. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep doing this. That's right. Because Jared said me. That's right. You keep doing told me it. It was a good thing to do. At least you have your paper this time. Yeah. <laughs> check out all the social media: Instagram, Facebook. For some reason, TikTok. For some reason. Go check out oddpeoplepodcast.com for all your podcast needs. Yeah. Go to the Redbubble link to buy merch. Yeah. On Redbubble for your loved ones because they love the show too. Yeah. Thank you for listening today. Keep it going, yeah. everybody. Keep it going. Stay creative. Stay. Stay natural. Stay, stay all <laughs> natural, <laughs> and, st- and stay odd. Yeah. Uh.